Hey, it's Jay Rod here from J Tech. We're going to get into measurements on a turbo. We're going to measure uh, actual or end play, a radial, and a housing clearance. Come on down and let's get it done. All right, so now that we've got our dial indicator with our awesome cool turn off on magnet, get a look at that. That's awesome. What we're going to do is, is we're going to me measure the end play. How you do that is you take the impression up there, that's a couple thousandths, that's, that's normal. I don't know if you can see that in the video, mm -hmm. but you just press up, pull it back. That's about a couple thousandths, which is good. Let's do some radio play, all right. Switch the dial indicator up. You can also use filler gauges, I didn't mention that before, but you use filler gauges and just move it back and forth and you get the clearance in between the blades there. The fan that moves. Why don't you come on down here and get a look. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna reach under in the exhaust side, this side, and push it a little bit. There's about 4,000 play right there. Which is, you know, it's okay. All right. I'm gonna push it back and forth to get that. That's within spec, so we're good there. Action! So this is how you're going to measure your housing clearance. You take your filler gauge, remove the dial indicator, put it away because it's delicate, don't want to break it. You're going to want to pull this to the side here. I'll pull it this way so you can see it better. You slide that in there. You don't want to manipulate it too much. Get in there. Happens to be four thousandths. It's in spec. It's good to go. Let's put this baby back in and get the truck on the road. Get some goods to get delivered, you know what I mean? All right, well, this has been real, folks. And remember, safety is never an accident. You have a good day.